everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer and thanks so much for joining me today. So today we are gonna be doing the LeBeige's new foundation, the Chanel LeBeige's new foundation. And I wanna thank, and I'm, I'm sure that I'm going to butcher the pronunciation because I'm, you know me, I'm terrible at this. Uh, Marae Panta, Marae, <laughs> tell me if that's even close. Anyway, um, she is on Instagram. I'll put her handle down below. She was kind enough to send me two samples of the Chanel foundation in B12 and B20, uh, BR12 and B20. I wanted to try the B20, which is sort of the neutral, to see if maybe I wanted to go with something a little bit more neutral than the beige rose, the beige rose 12, and then the beige 20. Um, I, I went ahead and swatched them. I'll swatch them for you guys here on my face, but the beige rose 12 is the right shade for me. I'll show you. All right, so this is, this is the BR12 and this is the B20. The B20 is not bad. It's just a little too yellow for my skin tone. So if you're similar to me, if you have sort of a pink undertone like I do and you're very fair, the BR12 is probably going to be a good match. However, I would like to say, if you guys are interested in the foundation, at, you know, after I go through the review today, maybe I'll hate it, who knows? Um, but uh, Marae is a great person to order from. You can order Chanel products from her directly. She's incredibly sweet, very talented, and uh, was kind enough to send me these samples, and I will be ordering some products from her in the future because, you know, Chanel is one of my favorites and there's a lot coming up. Hopefully you watched my Will I Buy It? And you know that there's a number of holiday releases coming our way. So in addition today to the foundation, I'm also gonna be doing some new to me Chanel products. There's a bunch of Chanel products that I picked up a while back that um, I have not put on the, I have not used in any videos yet. So. We'll get to that soon. Okay, so I'm gonna use the BK Beauty 101 brush. I've talked about this in my thousand person, thousand subscriber giveaway, which is gonna be very soon because I actually ju just hit a thousand subscribers. Thanks everybody. Um, I am gonna have a couple of BK Beauty brushes in the giveaway and a lot of other things, but we'll get to that. This is a great brush, guys. I mean, honestly. And this brush is in the giveaway, don't worry. I made sure this one was included. Well, the foundation went on really easily. It has a, a very nice skin-like texture to it. Um, it's lightweight. It does have a slight scent. I'm gonna put a little bit more through here, see if I can build that up a little bit. If you don't like scents and you don't want scent in your foundation, you won't like this. It has the LeBeige scent. Um, you know, I, I admit I would love a Chanel foundation without any scent to it, but well, that went on beautifully, guys. I mean, no streaking. It looks beautiful on the skin. It feels nice. I mean, like I said, my, um, my skin is, if you haven't watched me before, I have rosacea. My skin's very dry. Uh, I'm 48, so everything that comes with being 48, <laughs> you know, lines, wrinkles, all that good stuff. But um, yeah, feels good, looks good. Okay, so let me put on my brows really, really quickly and then we'll get into the other Chanel products. Okay, eyebrows are on. I'm gonna use a non-Chanel product. This is the Chantecaille La Stilo, La Camouflage Stilo. I've talked about this a couple of times in my um, favorites and in my haul videos. I really am enjoying this pen. I think it just brightens up, you know, the inner corners of my eye. I've mentioned a couple of times that area is very dry for me, so this works really well. I also wanna to say to everyone, thank you so much for all your comments and congratulations on the 1K and all that. I will be getting back to everybody. Sorry, this week's been a little uh, busy. <laughs> so, with work and everything. So, I promise though, I will be getting back to everyone and chatting with everyone really soon. Okay, so. Um, new to me products with Chanel. A couple of things that I picked up um, last month that I haven't uh, talked about on my channel yet. So I picked up two new lip pencils um, in the, yeah, 
Pivone? No. P I V O I N E. Pivone? Am I close? Probably not. And the Brune Carmen. The uh, Pivone is like a pinky shade. I bought it so that, like, there's some shades that I have that are like a little too beigey. Um, so I think that'll work. And then the Brune Carmen is like a red, but it's like a brown red. It's a really pretty shade looks really gorgeous if you put it with like for me anyway like a neutral lip actually i just i really really like and, the, and the, i love their new lip liner formula like their new lip liner formula is amazing i also have the um long lasting lip the tenues in intense caramel and i'm gonna i'm gonna put down below the person who told me to buy this and I can't remember while I'm filming it. Shoot, I, 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 you know, I make notes and I'm like, oh, I'll remember, and then I don't. So I'll put it down below though, um, in the little comment area, just to say thank you so much for recommending it. So I'm gonna try that. And then the other one is Burning Red. And I think Moray actually said in one of my, made a comment in one of my videos that I should have it. And I already had picked it up, so I'm pretty excited about that. I also picked up the three-in-one eye pencil in the boy this is the chanel boy line and i just picked up the brown it just looked like like kind of like a fun kind of pencil it's kind of like an all-in-one pencil it's got a little sharpener at the bottom just like the eyeliners do and it's kind of like the intense crayons it's kind of like the crayons that chanel has i just wanted to try it i wanted to see how it it would look so we'll try that today I have samples of the illuminating base, but I don't wanna try that with this foundation because I think that'll throw everything off. Um, but I will try it for you guys. I picked up the blurry gray eyeshadow palette because I have blurry green and I have blurry something. Blurry blue? I can't remember. But I didn't have blurry gray. So I'm gonna do something on blurry gray pretty soon. So you guys can see that. And I also didn't have, believe it or not, because it's, I used to have it, but I must have decluttered it at some point along the way, Jersey blush. This is a great shade. Um, it's like a, uh, I don't know, what's the best way to explain this? A beigey pink blush. It's just a great, for me, it's like the perfect shade. Um, it's not too pink and it has like a tan undertone. See that? It's just, I mean, it's perfect. And I had it, and then I don't know what the heck happened to it. Like, it just disappeared. I don't know. I obviously decluttered it. Don't remember doing it. Um, that was the classic cheek brush, by the way, the Sonya G classic cheek brush. Okay, so I bronzed up my skin a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Chanel powder and grab my powder brush if I can find it. I'm gonna take a little bit, this is the loose powder. This is the new natural finish loose powder and I have it in 12. So actually, same shade as the uh, foundation. It's easy to remember. I'm gonna take a little bit of the La Beige's um, Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid. And you're probably wondering like why I put the powder on first. I actually like it with the like a little bit of loose powder on my face and then taking this and putting it on top. I found that for me, uh, it wears better. Probably not true for everyone, but looking good so far. It feels good still too. Like the foundation feels, feels great. Um, I'm gonna take a Sony One. This is the Sony G uh, Face One brush. And I'm just gonna buff this a little bit. Just buffing in the blush, the highlighter, and the bronzer that I put on. Just like to, you know, smooth it out a little bit. Let's take the boy in brown. Let's try it out. And what I'm gonna try to do, we'll see if it works, put it on like a thick eyeliner and then take my Sonya G Worker 3 and kind of see if I can buff it out. Oh yeah, that works well, okay. Kind of using it as an all over shadow. Anytime you have a, a coal liner, you should be able to do this. 
All right, I'm also gonna take it and put a little bit uh, under my lash line really lightly. It's very pigmented. And I'll do it as liner as well. I'm gonna take my Sonia G Pencil 1 and just smudge out lower lash line and then upper. But I'm not gonna blend it like I did with it in the beginning. I'm just smudging it. That's super pretty and really easy to do. I mean, you just saw I did that in real time. So that's that's really nice and really simple. Now I'm gonna take the um, Chanel. I've had this one for a while. This is not new to me. It's a um, cream shadow that they have. This one is in Mirage. Comes in these little pots. I'll show you the shade. That's the shade right there. I'm just gonna use my finger. And this is just like a wash color, but I just thought it would be pretty on top of the brown boy pencil. Yeah, that's really nice. You can use a brush too, guys. A brush is gonna give you, you know, more um, control. Let's use the Pivone, probably wrong, lip liner. Maybe the best way to describe it is like a dusty rose. I think that's a good way to describe it. Okay, so let me curl my lashes, put on my Chanel mascara, we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. You might notice that I have mascara on, but the lip liner is gone. Although I love the Pivone, or however pronounce it, I think it's just a little too pink for the look on my eyes. So I decided to go in with the Chanel Nude Brune. And then I'm gonna take the Adrian Lip. So yeah, so really neutral, really neutral lip with the Nude Brune and the Adrian. But that's kind of what I was going for today because what I wanted to do with the eye, I really wanna focus on the foundation. And with the eyes, with that brown liner, the boy brown liner, it's a great liner. And it, I think it would work well just as an eyeliner, but I also think it works as I did it, kind of smoked it out all over my eyelid. It was really pretty. I used the cream shadow in Mirage over it. Mirage is beautiful. There's New Moon and there's one other shade, which I also have. It's like a white creamy, it's a white like shiny shade. They're all beautiful. It gives a really pretty wash of color on your eye. I think it's great for, you know, one and done, easy to go look. Uh, Chanel mascara, obviously. And uh, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'll check back in in a couple of hours. We'll see how it wears, we'll see how it looks. Um, but so far, so good. I really love the coverage. I love the way it feels. It's not tight. Um, you know, it has a great, it's like a skin-like coverage. It's a little bit dewy, but not, you know, overly so. It's a, a healthy glow foundation, which is what they call it. So anyway, I'll check back in a couple hours. We'll let you know how it is. Hi guys, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, yeah, it's been a long day. Anyway, um, the foundation looks great. <laughs> I'm gonna fall down, but the foundation looks fantastic. Um, so, yeah, I mean, honestly, it's held up extremely well. I think, uh, can you can you tell the difference? I mean, I really can't tell the difference. Um, I think it looks really, really good. Um, Skin-like, glowy, natural. Perfect color for my skin tone, the, uh, the BR12. I can't say enough good things. Um, hasn't irritated my skin now. Again, uh, it may be something that I have some issues with sometimes. I mean, you know, sometimes it takes a couple days of me wearing something, but uh, uh, this has been six hours so far and I don't see any problems. I, it's not settling into lines. It's not settling into pores. I don't see it accentuating any dryness. I think it looks nice and glowy, but not too glowy. It's not too matte. Uh, it's wearing off a little around my nose, but nothing, you know, not severe enough to me to be bothered by it. Um, my roots are bad, but other than that, <laughs> So yeah, guys, this is definitely a winner for me. Obviously, I want to try it repeatedly and over you know a longer period of time before I say I love something. But I think this is excellent. This, if I just based it on today, this is my favorite. Well, I shouldn't say that. I love the Eau de Tint, the like glowy tinted 
look. It's not even a foundation, I don't think. It's more like a, it's not even a tinted moisturizer. It's just some kind of miracle broth. I don't know what it is, but it's fantastic. But for foundation, this is excellent. So, so far. <laughs> <laughs> always like to put in that caveat. Anyway, uh, thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate it. Again, thank you so much for for everything. I mean, now that I, you know, for, for signing up, for watching, for <laughs> subscribing, for sharing my channel. Um, I will have more on the giveaway that I'm gonna do. I'm still adding a couple of things to the giveaway. I wanna make sure that it's complete before I get into details, but that'll be coming in the coming weeks. And I'll put down, you know, I'll make sure I give you all the details and, and everything, but, and I'll, I'll lay out all the products and take a picture so you guys can see what's in the giveaway. But I will say there's Tom Ford, Charlotte Tilbury, Shanta Kai, Chanel, uh, Pat McGrath, all the, all, all the, you know, all the stuff I love. So it's all in there. I promise. Um, I think that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to hit like, don't forget to hit subscribe, and I'll see you in another video really soon. Bye!